In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with all of us. My brothers and sisters, once again, in the love of our Lord, I greet you. Good morning. My name is Mumararungu Marie Louise. Today we are going to continue the prayer we have started, the prayer of the whole month of December. Today, as usual, we thank God for what he has done during the last week and what he's planning to do for this week we have started. Brothers and sisters, Today we thank God and we pray for children who has nowhere to stay. I can call them street children. Those children live a very sad life. That is why we pray for them. The key of today is the psalm 29. May God bless you, my dear friends. Hallelujah. Amen. The voice of the Lord in the storm. Praise the Lord, you heavenly beings. Praise his glory and power. Praise the Lord's glorious name. Bow down before the Holy One when he appears. The voice of the Lord is heard on the seas. The glorious God thunder, and his voice calls over the ocean. The voice of the Lord is heard in all its might and majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars even the cedars of Lebanon. He makes the mountains of Lebanon jump like curves and makes mountain Hermon leap like a young bull. The voice of the Lord makes the lightning flash His voice makes the desert shake. He shakes the desert of Kadesh. The Lord's voice shakes the oaks and strips the leaf from the the trees while everyone in his temple shouts glory to God. The Lord rules over the deep waters he rules as king forever. The Lord gives strength to his people and bless them with the peace. Alleluia. Amen. Lord Jesus, we pray for children who are in the streets. Those children are living a very bad, a very sad life. Jesus, I know you can do something for them. You can help them to live that bad life. Jesus, most of them are orphans and others are poor, but all others are not 
capable of going home because they are stubborn. Jesus, help them to go to the new life. Help them to grow as children who are educated. Those children, they become so bad and they become dangerous in the countries where they are. Jesus, bless them. Jesus, make them children of yours. Make them in a good way so that they can become children like others. Jesus, I pray for them. I know where they are. It is a problem. And they always plan to destroy, not to build because they are so dangerous. They live a very bad life. They live like animals. So after a time, they become like animals. Jesus, I pray for them. If it is the devil which from their families, I pray for they can be, Jesus, they can be free from the family, the bad family which make, me, which make them like that. Jesus, I pray for them. I know you can do many, many things for the life of those children, those street children. Jesus, I pray. In your name, hallelujah. Amen. My brothers and sisters, today we thank God for what He has done. As I told you in the introduction of today, but also to pray for those children who are in the streets. Those children are so dangerous, you know, and where they are, they become thieves, they become so bad. They are not good wherever they are wherever they are. If we don't pray for them, means we do nothing because we are not the light of the world. This world of, the, of those children are also in this world. When we pray for them, means we pray for the world and God will reward us. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters. Those children come from different places. Some come from the poor families. Others, they are orphans. Others, they, they come from rich families, but they are stubborn in their families. For those I know or I see sometimes in my country, they live in the bridge, under the bridge. They can't even take shower. They are so, so sad. And they always plan to kill, to do bad. They are always thieves. They are not good for sure. Brothers and sisters, if we don't pray for them, means we don't do our duty because this is our duty to pray for them to pray also for the families because if a, fam a family is well settled means those children cannot be in the streets they are in the street because of the family because of many problems in their families brothers and sisters we continue praying for them and even for families may god bless them may god make them free from the their descendants if 
the descendants is the source of that life that sad life which is like animal life they are so sad they are always look bad and very bad words coming from their mouth they have no polite they are so bad brothers and sisters pray for them where you are you have to pray for them and we pray for the countries pray also for peace and the families my brothers and sisters may god bless us all and give us peace hallelujah amen in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen